Yo, what's up guys? My name is AFC Adina and welcome to a new video. This will be a bit of a different video. It will be more of a discussion type of video. Um, and the thing, the thing I kind of want to discuss or talk about is how the current meta game in Pokemon PvP can become uh, can become more healthier. Um, I think uh, adding the Lottie Twins will make this possible. And I will do my best in this video to explain why. Because I did see the Seva Island trailer. Uh, I'll put a link somewhere if everyone, if anyone hasn't seen it yet. Um, didn't see anything about the Lottie Twins. Uh, so I'm not confirming anything, but in my opinion, they should add the Lotties. Uh, I think that's the perfect time. They are talking about getting more legendaries. And these two are definitely really important in uh, making the metagame more healthier. But before we discuss it, guys, uh, I want to show you guys something. Because recently, um, my guild uh, changed the guild logo. And I kind of want to take some time to show it to you guys. Um, it's right here. Um, we have the Greninja logo. I think it looks really cool in game. It looks really HD. Uh, we will make we'll, we will make a, a new guild picture soon. Uh, this was just a real quick temporary uh, guild picture. Uh, we made it with the people who were online at the time, but we'll make a picture event soon again. And there's still time to join uh, that event. Uh, you can join the guild through my Discord server. There's a channel there. Uh, join the guild channel and you just have to follow the steps and yeah we'll go from there anyway let's go over the topic we want to discuss in this video how the laddies will make uh, the metagame more healthier let's go okay first off uh, let's let me give you an idea of uh, what Latios and Latios can actually do or what they are capable of so we'll go over we'll go over a few sets, and starting with the first one that's probably going to be the most common one uh, with the Life Orb item, Roost, Defog, Psy Shock, Draco Meteor, Roost for longevity, uh, keeping Latios healthy, um, allowing it to switch in multiple times. Uh, Defog, um, really important. Because Latio Latios and Latios have the ability to levitate, so they are immune to uh, toxic uh, toxic spikes and spikes and sticky webs, and they take neutral damage from uh, stealth rocks. So they are really nice defuggers. And then we have Psyshock uh, to hit mods on a physical side and Draco Meteor uh, for potential nuke both Latios and Latios can run this set it's really common on them but yeah the next one uh, on Latios we have the life orb with Roost and three attacks uh, here we have earthquake uh, if you run if you are going to run physical attacks it's usually better to do it on Latios because Latios has 90 base attack and Latios has 80 base attack so Latios has a bit of a better base attack so earthquake and we have Psy shock you can run ice beam can run draco meteor but roost three attacks is a set that could be really common um the reason you would want earthquake is to hit things like heatran maybe tyranitar maybe bisharp those kind of mods that can kind of check gladios um the next set healing wish Draco Meteor, Psyshock, Defog. Um, yeah, Latios, this is really um, limited to Latios, the Healing Wish, because Latios cannot get Healing Wish. But Healing Wish allows another mon of your, on your team to get a second chance, basically. Um, imagine having a 1 HP Unkelder or something, or imagine having a Volcarona who's going to die to Stealth Rocks, you still be able to healing wish them, get them to full HP before they take the stealth rock damage, and then give Volcarona another chance to sweep. 
And because we are running Healing Wish, it's not advised to run Roast next to it. Because if you are going to heal up and click Healing Wish anyway, then what's the point of healing? I, that's why I don't think uh, you would need Roost on this set. If you're going to suicide anyway, and then you might as well Drake all into Healing Wish. As side shock for multiple hits. And you can defuck as well and then decide to healing which ones the hazards are gone. Uh, but yeah, this is a really good support type of Latias set uh, next to some sweepers and heavy hitters. Um, here we have Latias, uh, Latios. Latios has access to Memento instead of Healing Wish. This is something Latias cannot learn. But Memento, basically a suicide move that lowers. Uh, the attack and special attack of your opponent by two stages so basically having their special attack and attack imagine having something like a belly drum azumarill next to this latios you, you go for memento and the attack or special attack from your opponent is halved you bring in azumarill they take reduced damage because of the memento and set up a belly drum and you are going to sweep the opposing team and once again because memento is is a suicide move it's just Usually not advised to run Roost next to it, so we have Defog, Draco Meteor, Psyshock, basically the same idea. Here we have uh, a Choice Pack set, because Latios and Latios can both learn Trick. You can also run Choice Scarf if you need some speed control. Yeah, Choice Packs with Draco Meteor hits extremely hard, especially if your opponent doesn't have a Fairy type. Uh, Psyshock uh, for phys some physical damage. Here we have Thunderbolt, but it can also get Ice Beam. You can even learn Energy Ball. So there's a lot of coverage on Latios or Latios. And here we have Surfly, Waterfall, Flash. This is how I'm going to use it as an HM slave. You already know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and here are some other sets, some setup sets. Calm Mind, Recover, Psychic, Ice Beam. Uh, it can also learn Stored Power. Uh, for a bit more tankier setup set. Um, and it obviously can learn Ice Beam, Energy Ball, Thunderbolt, some coverage moves together with Calm So there are some options there. Um, Latios has access to Dragon Dance uh, with and Dragon Claw, so it can use this as well. But these two sets are usually not advised because there are a lot of Weavals running around, so this Calm Mind set gets, always gets checked by Weavile. And this set, uh, because Adios' attack is not really that high, it's only 90, there are other mounts that do this job much better. Uh, Salamence, Dragonite. They have better attacks, have a better attack stat and a better attack move pool. And. Even if you get up a Dragon Dance with this Latio set, uh, Clefable still takes a hit and can threaten away with Moonblast. Ferrothorn still walls it, for example. So the, these sets are usually uh, not advised, but it can be. It can sometimes work with some niche. <laughs> and these, these are just some supportive type of moves that Latios and Latios have ex, uh, access to. Thunderwave Toxic, some status moves. Reflect type, uh, changing into a Dark type. Uh, to maybe deal with a Tyranitar. Uh, safeguard to protect your team from status, uh, like from Will O Wisp, Thunder Wave, Toxic, uh, not getting Scald Burnt. So uh, there's some support there as well. And they also have access to Magic Code, Tailwind, uh, doubling the speed of the team for five turns. Could be helpful. And obviously, Reflect on Light Screen. I uh, can run screens. Uh, for extra support as well. So there are a lot of options. Uh, but once again, they are mainly there as for support. Uh, Latios and Latios are usually not the main sweepers. Uh, they could be the main damage dealers if you uh, run some strong offensive moves on them. But they are never really the main sweepers because there are other mods that do the job better. Uh, for example, uh, Latios with Calm Mind. Uh, I think Clefable does the job better, for example. Uh, and we talked about Latios as well. I think Hexorus, uh, Salamence, Dragon Knight. Uh, other Dragon Dance sweepers are doing the job much better than Latios. 
Yeah, that's basically it. What the, the, obviously there are more sets running around, but this is basically to give you an idea of what they are capable of. And now let's talk about uh, the Pokemon, uh, both Latios and Latios, keep in check if they are added into the meta game. Oh, by the way, guys, the item sold you might also be an option. I don't know if they will ban the item. I know it was banned in Pokemon Black and White, but at that time, I believe it gave uh, defense and special defense. It gave a defense and special defense boost. But if they only uh, boost the Dragon type and Psychic type attacks, um, I don't think that it should be banned. Might be wrong. We'll have to see. But if they do release a Soul Dew next to the Laddies, then that is definitely an option as well. Because you don't take Life Orb Recoil if you run Soul Dew. But yeah, <laughs> again with that, let's go to the next ad part. Okay, guys, let's get let's go over a few mods that the Laddie twins actually keep in check if they are added into the meta game. Um, first off, we have Among Us. Um, let's let's put in the most common Among Us set, so the calm Among Us, especially defensive Among Us with Spore, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, Fire, and Sludge Bomb slash Clear Smog. Um, Latios does 86.7 to 103.2 percent damage, uh, but if you remove the defensive fees because some people run max spadef on among us and don't run any defensive fees at all that sudden that suddenly becomes 62.5 percent chance and that, that's without stealth drugs with with stealth drugs that's in guaranteed ko and latios on the other hand um uh, without stealth drugs and without defensive fees among us just dies it's it's, it's a one hit ko if, if they do run the defensive ease, then it's a 87.5% chance to knock it out, which is really a really high chance. And again, with Stealth Rock, it's still a guaranteed KO. Um, obviously, uh, Latios doesn't really like switching in uh, to Spore or Sludge Bomb. But keep in mind that Latios and Latios can also learn Safeguard. Um, which means they can always switch in to Among Us. It's not common though. But you could also choose to let something else on your team be a sleep father, and then that way they can never uh, spore on uh, onto your Ladios or Ladios, and Lati they can just come in and click Psy Shock. And also keep in mind, guys, uh, Among Us is mainly a pivot for special attackers, while Ladios and Ladios are both special attackers. But Among Us cannot wall them if they have Psy Shock. Sideshow shock hits them on the physical side and i think even with max defense and like a bold nature it's still going to be a two hit ko regardless um so i think adding laddies for among us is really nice because there are a lot of among us running around and not many pokemon do actually have the ability to one shot them aside aside from physical attackers like weavile and and among us but among us is usually not a pivot for them it's usually a pivot for special attackers but like i said um latios and latios are psychic types have access to psy shock which hits on the physical side so it becomes really difficult for among us to actually switch in to the laddies and in that sense yeah um, that would make the game more healthier because you s almost see Among Us in every team and I'll explain the r one of the reasons why later but yeah okay the next man is Conkeldur Latios and Latios both keep Conkeldur in check that doesn't mean they can s freely switch into Conkeldur uh, by the way um, I'm not saying that Lati Latios and Latios are hard counters to all these Pokemon that I uh, that I'm going to name um, but they keep them in check basically so you don't instantly lose to them and Conkelder is uh, one of the examples obviously uh, they cannot switch into a facade uh, that will just blow them back but on the other hand uh, Latios with Psy Shock uh, does 93.8 to 111.6% damage to a Conkelder which is running a bit of HP EVs 
Um, so that's a 68.8% chance, so the odds are in your favor to knock out the Conkeldor from there. But if the Conkeldor isn't running any HP EVs at all, that Side Shock suddenly becomes a guaranteed one hit KO. Um, I think it was 186. Uh, Lady Yas on the other hand does a bit less damage, but it's still close. It's still close. Like Side Shock does 80.1 at 295.1% damage to a Conkelda that's running HP EVs. And that's just a guarantee to it KO. But if Conkelda isn't running any HP EVs, HP if he's at all then that suddenly becomes a 43.8% chance and if you have Steldrax up uh, That size shock suddenly becomes a 75% chance to knock it out and Draco Meteor becomes an instant kill By the way, if you run Psychic over size shock um, Then both Latios and Latios will knock out a Conkeldor without an Assault Fest And yeah, um, Conkeldor can never really go freely for the Mach Punch or the Drain Punch, because they are resisted by the Lottie Twins. So it, it becomes an extra mind game for the Conkeldor. Uh, so it cannot freely uh, click buttons, uh, cannot freely go for Drain Punch and hitting everything. No, because if Latios or Latios come into a Mach Punch or Drain Punch, they can just force it out or even KO the Conkeldor. And in that sense, the meta game also becomes a bit more healthier, because uh, yeah, there are some checks to Conkeldor, but a lot of offensive checks to uh, a lot of Pokemon that are faster than Conkeldor and uh, get stuck by Mach Punch. So there are just a few months that can take the Mach Punch that are faster, like Ghost types obviously, but Caldeo still takes a lot from Mach Punch. Um, Tornadus has, has to hit a Hurricane. So faster Pokemon I can deal with Mach Punch are also nice so uh, for Conkeldor because I think Conkeldor at the moment uh, you 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 need something for the Conkeldor if you don't have a way of killing Conkeldor because uh, uh, for speed control a lot of people use Weavile but Weavile gets blown back by Mach Punch and aside from Weavile not a lot of fast Pokemon are used. Um, so in that sense, yeah. And there are just a few mods that can switch into Conkeldor. It's usually playing around out of Conkeldor, letting it take Rocky Helmet Chip, letting it take Sandstorm Chip, Hazard Chip, Flame Orb Chip, and then beating it down with something. Um, but yeah, having that extra check does make the meta game more healthier in my opinion. Okay, next up we have Gliscor. I'm mainly talking about uh, the, the Soy Stance Gliscor set, because at the moment the Gliscor set can be a bit overwhelming. There are not a lot of counters to it. Uh, the main One of the main counters that uh, people use is Rotom Wash, uh, but Rotom Wash only has 8 Hydro Pumps. Once those Hydro Pumps are gone, it doesn't do anything against Gliscor. And keep in mind that Hydro Pump doesn't knock out most Gliscors from full HP if the Rotom isn't running any um, special attack investments. So, if you also need to hit uh, the Hydro Pump as well. Uh, so, there are sometimes a few cases that the Gliscor sets up. Rotom already took a bit, bit of pre damage and then he's gonna get 2 hit KO'd by a Gliscor and not being able to knock out uh, the Gliscor because it lives with a few HP or Humish or Hydro Pump and suddenly once the thing is gone uh, Gliscor becomes really uh, the, the Gliscor sweep becomes really deadly uh, obviously there are some checks to Gliscor uh, right now uh, being Weavile, Keldeo but you cannot switch them in freely because if the Gliscor predicts to switch into Weavile or Keldeo and goes for Earthquake or Facade Weavile will lose more than half his HP Keldeo will lose close to half his HP and then Gliscor can just switch out and if that be if that happens multiple times then Keldeo and Weavile will eventually die 
Um, so, at the moment, uh, the best ways to counter it is using something like an unaware Clefable or unaware Quagsire, or something, a phaser like Skarmory or Hippowdon with Roar or Whirlwind. And obviously, slow U turners to bring in Weavile or Caldeo, like a defensive scissor or a defensive Lando. You bring them in, you U turn, and get Weavile or Caldeo in freely. Uh, those are usually the ways of dealing with Gliscor. Uh, if Gliscor is specially defensive, then even bulky water types uh, cannot beat it easily because specially defensive Gliscor uh, can take a Scald, it doesn't get burned because of the Toxic Orb. Obviously, doesn't care about the Toxic or Thunder Wave either. But yeah, let's take a Gliscor set for a Swords as Gliscor set, for example. Uh, this one is really specially defensive. Uh, most people in Pokemon use a bit more speed on their Gliscor to outspeed at least the timid uh, Heatran. So it can it can never get to it KO'd by a Heatran because you can roost before they get off their second attack. Or you can knock them out with Earthquake before they attack. But let's go for uh, with this one for now. Uh, Latias with Ice Beam does 106.8% and that's without an item. If you run an item, uh, that's even more damage, but obviously it's it's a kill, basically. Um, Latias does a bit less damage, but still without, uh, without uh, let's see. With the life orb, it's still a guaranteed kill, but without the life orb, it's a 75% chance to one hit KO, which is still not uh, in your favor. Uh, so both Latios and Latias can switch in. Um, they, don't, they don't take too much from an unboosted facade because uh, they can come in and even if the Latios, uh, if, even if the Gliscor sword stances and gets to plus two, it, it, it does a lot of damage, but uh, Latios and Latios are both faster than Gliscor, so the Gliscor never gets off his attack. And if he doesn't go for the Sword Sense and for the Facade instead, you can r decide to Roost on that turn. Uh, when they are going to switch out. Or you can Ice Beam and knock them out if you don't think they're going to switch. But I think adding L the Lattice in this case is really nice because uh, that will make uh, that will make the other Gliscor sets more used. I think about the Toxic, Steldrog, uh, maybe U-Turn, Defog, those kind of sets. Um, they are currently not used that much because Sword Sense Gliscor sets up on those kind of sets. Um, yeah. So just having that answer for Sword Sense Gliscor is really healthy for the metagame because I've used Swords and Glasscore a lot, and there are just a lot of teams that instantly lose, um, or instantly lose when one check is gone, because um, things like Corridant and Azumarill could be checks, but they are slower, and a Choice Bandit Aqua Jet doesn't knock out Glasscore from from full, and if Glasscore did get a pre, or if you did get a bit of free damage off on the Yozuma Rill and Cordant and you get to plus two, you can just knock them out. You can also predict them to switch in to you and Earthquake chip, chip them and switch out. Um, so yeah, there are just not a lot of mods that can switch into an SD Gliscor freely and force them out or knock them out uh, multiple times. Like Hydreigon could be an example, Choice Specs Hydreigon, but if you are running a really specially defensive set, and I'm pretty sure a, a Specs. Let's actually check it out, but I'm pretty sure a Specs Draco Meteor is not gonna knock, knock this out. Uh, I'll, I'll be damned, it actually does knock him out. Yeah. So I guess that could be a check as well. But if you if the Glyscore, the Glyscore can also just switch out into something that could take the Draco. And again, if you're running choice specs, I Draken and you predict it with Gli you predict the switching with Gliscor, that's still going to be at least 33% damage on the I Draken. And if you have Stealth Rocks up, that's going to be close to uh, close to 50%. 
Uh, so Hydreigon cannot do that a lot of times either. Oh, this this is plus two. Never mind. A plus one Draco is not knocking out. <laughs> a plus one Draco is not knocking out. A really specially defensive Gliscor. So the Gliscor could decide to roost if it's on full HP. And once the, the Hydreigon is at minus two. Um, then minus two, then Hydreigon, uh, Gliscor just sets up again, basically. So yeah, that actually makes my point more val valid. Uh, there are not a lot of checks to, or actually counters to the Swords and Gliscor set, but Latios and Latias are really good ones. <laughs> Let's just go to the next one. I, I think you guys get my point. Okay, the next one is Keldeo. And yeah, uh, Keldeo is actually the reason why a lot of people actually use Among Us. Because if you're not using an Among Us, then the chances are really high that you are going to get destroyed by a Keldeo. Because uh, I think that's probably one of the best counters to Keldeo. Uh, the next best thing at the moment that's meta is Assault Vest Tornadus. But if the Keldeo is substitute and predicts the Tornado switch and is behind the sub, then Tornadus needs to hit her again while Keldeo can attack, do some shenanigans. And if you miss the hurricane in that situation, that becomes really scary. Um, there are there are some off meta stuff like slow king. I guess slow bro can do it as well because they both resist all the attacks. Um, if it's sub substitute command leftovers or any leftovers that Keldeo set, then I guess Clefable could do it as well. But Clefable gets blown back by choice packs. Uh, so we have to keep that in mind. Obviously, are a few other answers like Starmie and stuff, but then you're going a bit off meta. Um, but Latios and Latios, on the other hand, uh, let's actually do the choice pack set and let's to give you guys an idea. Um, let's start. I think Latios does a better job because Latios has a higher special def uh, special defense. But as you can see, a Specs Hydra Pump does kind of below 40. S Secret Sword does below 44. And this is Specs damage. Uh, if it's leftovers, that does even less damage. Uh, Scald does under 30%. Icy Wind does a lot. But that means the Keldeo is going to be locked into Icy Wind. Uh, without the Choice Packs, those attacks, yeah. Secret Sword under 30, Scald under, under 20. Um, never really on a threat of Calmite substitute because you can always break the sub with Psy Shock. Uh, the damage never gets reduced because it does physical damage. Um, Psy Shock with the Life Orb is a guaranteed KO regardless of what, how much Kel how much HP the Keldeo has. And Latias obviously does more damage. And they can both come, uh, they can both come in and outspeed Keldeo as well, uh, which there aren't a lot of Pokemon I can actually do it aside from Tornadus. Uh, t come in, take a hit pretty comfortably and then knock out the Keldeo because uh, they resist all the attacks. And then you can use other things aside from Among Us to <laughs> kind of deal with the Keldeo. Uh, doesn't mean that Among Us won't be used, but uh, I can imagine it being really being really boring if you play Among Us every time. Um, but yeah, this gives you an offensive check to it, which can come in multiple times as well. And yeah, that does make the meta game a bit more healthier, um, having an extra way to deal with Keldeo. Because, yeah, I, I've seen it a lot of times. People not running Among Us and then Keldeo just face rolling th uh, through that through their team. Um, yeah, let's get on to the next Pokemon. Okay, guys, the next one is Volcarona. And I'm not talking about uh, Bug Bus Volcarona because that would obviously blow Latios or Latios back after Quiver Dance. Um, but I'm talking about the set that is currently dominant. Let's put it in here. Uh, that's not Bug Buzz, but it's Giga Drain instead of Bug Buzz. So 
fire move, giga drain, hit a power ground. Fire blast is usually not used because of the accuracy. It's usually fairy dance or flamethrower. I'll go with flamethrower for this one because it does a bit more damage. But that's basically, or that's usually the set you run on Volcarona these days, which sweeps a lot of teams. Um, Latios and Latios resists all those attacks. Immune to hit and power ground because of levitate, resisting grass because it's dragon type, resisting flamethrower because it's a, it's a dragon type as well. And meanwhile, Psyshock from Latias does over 69% damage, so basically a 2 hit KO. And Latios does even more damage. And they don't get 2 hit KO'd by a plus, two flame, a plus 1 flamethrower. That's the wrong one. Uh, plus one. So plus one flamethrower does maximum 40.8% damage. Uh, meaning that Latios can still get off two hits before full corona attacks. Uh, before F Latios dies, basically. Um, and then two hit KO with Psyshock. Obviously, Latios also has access to uh, moves like Thunder Wave, Toxic. Uh, to cripple uh, the Volcarona, and if Volcarona, if Volcarona is forced to run Bug Buzz, then it won't have Giga Drain anymore. And that meaning that certain water types can kind of deal with uh, Volcarona. So uh, think about Keldeo, because now Volcarona doesn't have Giga Drain. Uh, Keldeo resists Bug Buzz because it's a fighting type. Which is flamethrower because it's a, it's a, it's a water type, and it, it in a power ground doesn't really matter too much because it's a low base power move and it's also not stabbed. So in that sense, Galio can suddenly check, um, check Volcarona as well, and there are some other examples, um, some bulky water types that can suddenly uh, deal easier with Volcarona, but. That won't make the Giga Drain set that dominant because right now you see a lot of Heatran, Rotom, Amoongus scores, and maybe Clefable in it as well. And once the Volcarona sets up one Quiver Dance or even two Quiver Dance uh, dances, it can knock out Heatran with Hidden Power Crown, knock out Rotom with Giga Drain, Amoongus with Flamethrower, and yeah, a lot of those sweeps usually happen, and a lot of times they run Lumberry as well. Some run Pesho Berry, depending on the team, obviously. Uh, but having Latios or Latios there uh, means that Folk Corona also have to make has to make a choice on whether to run Giga Drain or Bug Buzz. If they don't run Bug Buzz, then Latios or Latios can check it. They can come in to it, KO it, uh, basically. If they do run Bug Buzz, then you have other means of killing it because they won't have Giga Drain. They also won't have any recovery if they are not running um, Giga Drain, which makes it easier to knock it out. And yeah, and that way uh, the metagame is again a bit more healthier because uh, Volcarona's job becomes a bit more difficult. And it be at the moment, uh, some t in a lot of cases, using full corona is pretty brainless because there are a lot of situations uh, where you are able to set up a quiver dance because uh, all you need to do is remove the stealth rocks on your side and then get in full corona to quiver dance at one point and it's usually not that difficult to set it up uh, you have Rodon who can defuck and fold switch or you can hard switch the turn they go for stealth rock and bring in full corona uh, those kind of type of things but adding Latios or Latios just as an extra check is really nice. But yeah, that's everything about Volcarona. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, the next one has two sides. Uh, on the other hand, on one hand, um, Latios and Latios could kind of check them. I check it. But on the other hand, Heatran uh, could also counter or check Latios and Latios, uh, basically depending on the sets, but I'll talk about that later. Uh, first, I talk about, I'll tell you a bit about why Latios and Latios could kind of check a Heatran. 
uh, because Etern is a fire type and Latios and Latios are dragon type. So they resist the fire type move. They have levitate, so they are immune to earth power. The only thing they really fear is uh, toxic. Flesh cannon is not that threatening to them because both Latios and Latios have pretty decent special defense. But Latios has access to Earthquake. And let's take the special, the max HP Heatran, for example. So the specially defensive Heatran. Uh, if it's offensive Heatran, I'm not sure if, that, if that's a kill. But it becomes really close after Stall Rocks, it's a uh, one hit KO. And this is timid Latios, by the way. So if it's some, if it's naive or hasty, and it does even more damage. But for this example, we are going with the, sp <laughs> the specially defensive Heatran. So you do more than 66%. If you are, uh, let's say, naive, you do 72.7% 7 damage minimal. Uh, but yeah, that, that sense you can check it with Earthquake. You also have access to Surf. Does about 50% on Latios. Latios does a bit less damage, I think, with Surf. Yeah, a bit below half, uh, but still they can't check Heatran, especially if Heatran is not running Toxic, then it become, that job becomes really easy, or really easily. They, um, but yeah, they, they don't really mind the Magma Storm trap as long as they are not, as long as the Heatran is not Toxic, and they can basically threaten it out, uh, but if Latios or Latios are not running Earthquake or Psyshock, then Heatran can wall Latios and Latios for days, basically. Um, yeah, it's nice to have, have, an, have extra mods that can switch into Heatran and push it out, because uh, Rodom, for example, is a water type, can switch into Magma Storm, but if the Heatran has something like Power Herb and Solar Beam, that Rodom uh, is basically a goner. And some bulky mods as well, they can switch in and probably live a hit, but they get destroyed by the combination of Magma Storm, Taunt, Earth Power, Toxic, Protect, those kind of things. So, having a lot is being able to do it as well, because uh, personally I mainly use Glyscor for this at the moment. I switch into Heatran, not fearing the Magma Storm, because I can roost it off or, or I can uh, force them out with Earthquake. Uh, that's why I use Glasscore a lot of times, uh, just because of the he those heat trends. Because uh, there aren't many other answers. Because even things like Sloking and Slowbro, um, they could get crippled by Toxic Protect Magma Storm um, if the heat trend user clicks the right moves. Um, yeah, that's basically my opinion on this. Uh, that does again. Uh, tone down Heatran a bit and makes the metagame a bit more healthier. Uh, let's just go on to the next one. We'll talk about Heatran later as well. Okay, uh, next up is another Mon with uh, two point, point of views. Um, I'll talk about the reason why Latios and Latios can kind of check this and that one is Lander's Ethereum for him. Um, let's take the defensive lender is set, for example, now. Um, Draco Meteor. This is from Latias. Ice Beam obviously knocks it out because it kills Gliscor as well. But Latios, for example. But Stealth Rock Up, that's a it's almost a guaranteed KO. Um, but obviously if you run Ice Beam, it's a check. But the thing is, um, Latios and Latios kind of forces uh, the Landorus a lot of times to click a U-turn, whether it's defensive or a uh, Scarfed. If it's Scarfed Lando, then it becomes really difficult for the Landorus to click Earthquake. So a lot of times you can predict the U-turn to come out and bring in something else just because Latios or Latios is there. 
Uh, if they lo do lock themselves into Earthquake, Latios or Latios come in and drop a Draco, go for Defog or do something else from there. But uh, just the ability of just knocking Landorus out is really nice. Uh, again, there aren't a lot of mods that can uh, one-shot them from full. And like I said, you can defog the stealth rocks away. Um, and in a lot of cases, cases the Landorus and turn uh, the Landorus is just forced to go for the U-turn uh, for the overall best play, and you can util uh, you can utilize this by uh, going into a Rocky Helmet user or something with Static or Flame Body, those kind of things uh, for better positioning. But yeah, uh, I'll talk about Scarf Lando uh, later as well, because Landorus does kind of check uh, the Latios or Latios as well. Um, yeah, let's just go on to the next one. Okay, another one, that, uh, another Pokemon that Latios and Latios both kind of check is Rotom Wash. A uh, Rotom Wash is a water and electric type, so Latios and Latios being dragon types both resist uh, all stab moves from the Rotom Wash, so Hydro Pump and Volt Switch or Thunderbolt Discharge. Uh, they are all resisted by the Latios, and Latios and Latios can both get Energy Ball if they really want, want to go that route, but they both can drop a Draco as well. Uh, let's take Latios for example, uh, go with, with the standard Psyshock set, and we have Rotom Wash here uh, with a defensive spread. Draco Meteor does a minimal of 85.8% damage, which has an 87.5% chance to knock out uh, the Rotom with Stealth Rocks up. Without Stealth Rocks, that's a 12.5% damage. Um, Latios, on the other hand, does, does a bit less damage, but it's still 75.9% minimal damage. And with Stealth Rock up, you still have an 18.8% chance to knock it out. So imagine having more chip on uh, the Rotom. Because it can be really difficult to get rid of an opposing Rotom. Uh, the main way it usually dies is by uh, clicking knock off two times with Weavile. Because if you have Rocks up or Rotom is not running a lot of uh, defense EVs, it usually gets to it KO'd by a uh, knockoff. Because the first knockoff does um, extra damage. And that will put, usually put it in range of the second knockoff. Um, things like Conkeldar do a lot of damage, but the thing is if you don't knock out Rodon uh, and it's at low HP, it suddenly regains a lot of HP back if he decides to click a Pain Split. So having ways of instantly dealing with Rodon is really nice. Um, let's see how much Energy Ball actually does. So energy Ball with the Life Orb does actually <laughs> less damage than Draco. Uh, on Latios, how much does it do? Okay, so Energy Ball does a lot of damage, but you don't drop your special attack. But yeah, if you do get a bit of free damage off on a Rotom, uh, maybe knocking off the leftovers first uh, with something like Tangrowth or Ferrothorn, I mean, and having Stealth Rocks up, uh, meaning that. Both Latios and Latios can knock it out with Draco Meteor. Just having that option is already really nice. And that's uh, the Volt Switch aside uh, from uh, Rotom, because obviously Rotom can Volt Switch into something that can kill the Latios or Latios. But we'll just leave that aside for now. Uh, just having that option there is really, really nice. Because in a lot of balanced teams, um, it usually takes time uh, beating the Rotom, because you could use Among Us, which is used a lot of times, but most of the times Rotom just full switches out and goes into Heatran or a Gliscor, something that can deal with the Among Us. But just have, being able to drop the Draco and a lot of partners with Rotom are at things like Heatran or Among Us, but they still are going to take a lot of damage from that Draco Meteor. And if they do decide to full switch on that turn, uh, that means that they have to take that Draco and that's gonna do a lot of damage or knock them out if they did take a bit of free 
damage. Um, but yeah, that's basically it about Rodom. Uh, let's go on to the next one being... Okay, another big threat in the metagame is Bellytrum Azumarill. Uh, the main answer for it at the moment is uh, defensive Rodom because it can live a plus six Aqua Jet. Um, but Latios and Latios can both live a plus six Aqua Jet as well. And with Psyshock, let's actually check Azumarill. So this is like the standard Bellytrum Azumarill set with Citrus Berry. Psyshock does at least 60% uh, and th this is Latios. Latios does a bit less damage. Uh, Energy Ball does a lot, but I think Thunderbolt does more damage. Yeah, Thunderbolt does even more damage, so keep, also keep in mind if Azumarill do does go for Bellytrum, uh, it loses 50% of itself. It does get the 25% from Citrus Berry, so it will be around 75%. If you only have, Psy have Psyshock, uh, you can put it in range of another priority move. If you have Stealth Rocks up, there's even a chance to knock it out. Uh, and on Latios' case, uh, Psyshock does a minimal 53.5 to 63.1. Uh, but that's still some nice damage. And if Azumarill is at 75%, then. It's basically going to be in range of Ice Shard from something like Weavile, uh, especially if you have Stealth Rocks up, Stealth Rocks up as well, and Aqua Jet, a plus six Aqua Jet. It's gonna be the same damage against Latios or Latios because they have the same HP and defense, uh, defense stat. So they will only do about di add this damage. Uh, let me check on check it on Latios as well. And that's adamant, by the way. So there are some jolly uh, Azumarils as well, and they do even less damage. But uh, oh wait, uh, La Latios has a bit lower uh, defense, but still, um, Latios can tank it comfortably even after Stealth Rocks damage. So having that extra check that lives a plus six Aqua Jet and can do a lot of damage in return is just really nice. Because uh, at the moment, Hydreigon can do it, but it needs Specs Flash Cannon to come close, and, and it still doesn't knock it out. Uh, but yeah, at the moment, the main answer is Rotom Wash, because otherwise, you need something like uh, an unaware Clefable or an unaware Quagsire. Because mods like Ferrothorn get blown back by plus six, a knockoff, or superpower. Uh, obviously, Amoongus dies to knockoff. Tang Road dies to play rough. All those defensive mods just die because Azumarill has other moves and is faster. So to check um, Belly Drum Azumarill, you, you need something that's faster and can live a plus six Aqua Jet. And a lot of these are really great examples. And if you really need a check to it, you can run uh, Thunderbolt on Latios. Um, yeah, that basically uh, tuning down Bellytrum, Azumarill, and maybe make Bandit Azumarill m more more used. Because there are more ways to deal with Bellytrum Azumarill, because then Amoongus can check it, then Tangroth can check it, and you can use more walls basically. So combine a physical defensive wall with Latios or Latios in that sense. And that gives you more options um, in this meta game because uh, a lot of teams do instantly lose to uh, Belly Drum Azumarill if they don't have something like a Rodom. Because then Azumarill sets up a Belly Drum and just Aqua Jets everything that's faster and kills everything with Play Rough, Knockoff, Superpower, or whatever uh, that's slower than Azumarill. So, yeah, I do think in a sense the Laddie Twins to make it a bit more healthier, not allowing um, Bellytrum Azumarill to instantly win if you don't have something like a Rodom. But yeah, let's go on to the next one. Okay, uh, next up we have Thunderous. Um, Thunderous with Nasty Plot is, can become a big threat because uh, there are not a lot of defensive uh, answers to, to this. Uh, once they set up a nest because 
um, Among Us could come in and it could spore, but if something else is already asleep, then this becomes a problem because Among Us doesn't really kill a Thunderous, but Thunderous with Life Warp uh, puts Among Us really, really low. So the best thing Among Us could probably do is then Clear Smog, but that doesn't do that much damage. Uh, Thunderous will be, still be really healthy. Can still beat it down. Thunderous also beats down Ferrothorn with Focus Blast, Heatron with Focus Blast. So ha there are just not a lot of switch ins. Um, let's do the Thunderous set. And I'm mainly talking about the Life Orb set. Because with Life Orb, uh, this thing just becomes a really big threat, outspeeding a lot of things. Um, yeah, the best check is probably Weaver being able to pursue Trap it or knock it out with knockoff or Icicle Crash. Um, but Latios uh, can come in to an HP Ice, and even if it's a plus two HP Ice, can still take it. It only has 25% chance to knock out a full HP Latios. So in that sense, Latios can come in. If they Nasty Plot it on that turn, you still live the HP Ice and can drop a Draco to knock him out. Or if they did take a bit of pre damage, go for Psy Shock for the guaranteed hit. Um, Thunderous Therian form is a bit of a different story. Because then both Latios and Latios can check it. A Latios can only check the normal Thunderous asset because a Latios has a better special defense than Latios. But if it's Thunderous Therian form, uh, both Latios and Latios are faster. So they can come in to Hidden Power Rise. Let's see. With the Life Orb. So they can both take it, Latios, as well. And then drop a Drake or click Psyshock. Um, if it's Thunderous with Leftovers, then both Latios and Latios can come in on the normal form because um, regular Thunderous doesn't knock out or doesn't 2 hit KO um, Latios without Life Orb because that does less than 50%. So at plus 2, um, at plus 2, a Thunderous still doesn't kill Latios. So if you know the Thunderous doesn't have a uh, Life Orb, but his leftovers, then Latios can come in, obviously. But yeah, ha just having an extra check as well to that is really nice. Uh, again, not a lot of mods can come into this. I usually have to let something die and bring in Weavel to kill it. Um, but with Latios, uh, you can bring it in, drop a Draco if need, need be. Or just roost uh, if they didn't go for nasty blood. Uh, but yeah, let's go on to the next one, and that's the next one is actually going to be the last one. There are obviously more mods that Latios and Latios check, but I think these are the main ones. Uh, the last one is uh, Garchomp. Okay, the last mod uh, that I want to talk about is Garchomp. I think Garchomp is kind of forgotten by everyone. Uh, in the current meta game, but it's still really, really strong. Um, Cause a lot of those standard cores with Among Us, Rotom, Heatran, uh, the Ferrothorn, those kind of mods, uh, that's set up fodder for Garchomp. And I'm talking about Sword Dance Garchomp. Uh, Cause after Sword Dance, uh, Garchomp can knock out especially defensive Ferrothorn, can knock out a physical defensive Clefable uh, if it has uh, if it has life orb of course but it obviously can knock out Heatran and it's easily sets up on Heatran um, it can 2 hit KO Rodan with Dragon Claw can even do a lot of damage with Outrage so keep that in mind as well um, the, currently the only real check is Weavile uh, I guess Keldeo checks it as well, but if it's not choice specs with Icy Wind, then it doesn't even knock out uh, Garchomp. Uh, then, then, Keldeo, then 
Garchomp needs to be weakened to be able to kill a Garchomp with Galdeo's Skull or Secret Sword. Oh yeah, I think Weavile is like the only real check that's currently used a lot. But Weavile can never come in freely in against the Garchomp because Garchomp does a lot of damage. Um, but with Latios and Latios around, guys, uh, Garchomp can never go freely for the Earthquake. And what I mean uh, with not being able to uh, go freely for the Earthquake is that if Latios or Latios comes in on an Earthquake, uh, Garchomp is immediately threatened because they can knock him out. Obviously, if you switch in Gliscor to an Earthquake from Garchomp, Garchomp can set up the turn afterwards and go for Sword Stance on Gliscor because Gliscor cannot really stop the Sword Stance because uh, Gliscor is slower. Latios and Latios are faster than Garchomp. So you cannot taunt him. The worst thing uh, Gliscor could probably do is Toxic him. Try to protect Stall with some double protects. Uh, or get some chip off with Earthquake or something. Uh, but Garchomp is pretty bulky. So if Gliscor decides to attack, it's still a free setup. Uh, and some with Septos as well. Uh, if Septos isn't carrying Hidden Power Rise, it just becomes a free setup. But with Latios and Latios, it never becomes a free setup. Um, Latio, you, the Garchomp always has to keep in mind that Latios or Latios could be coming in. So if you decide to go for Sword Stance or Earthquake, um, you can never do it freely. So sometimes you do need to predict the Latios or Latios to come in and go for Dragon Claw. But that makes the job for Gar Jump a bit more difficult. And I think that does make the current meta game a bit more healthier. Because I've seen a lot of situations where Gar Jump just sets up and just obliterates a Mon before Weeva can come in. But with Latios and Latios, you have the extra mind game. But that's just uh, my take on it. Because. Um, yeah, this, those are basically the mods that I wanted to talk about. Obviously, there are many more mods that uh, Latios and Latios can check uh, that we haven't discussed. Because uh, Latios and Latios are really fast, so things like Hydreigon and Hi and those kind of mods are also checked. But I think that speaks for itself. Um, but now I kind of want to go over a few mods that can actually check or counter. Uh, Latios and Latios itself, because after hearing all this, you might think like the Latios and Latios are OP, but that's definitely not the case. There are a lot of Pokemon that are currently used that can easily deal with both the Lati twins, and that's kind of what I—that's kind of what I want to go over. Uh, so yeah, let's go. And by the way, um, it doesn't mean that uh, Latios or Latios will counter or check every Pokemon that I named because it all depends on the set you take which are Latios or Latios but this is where team building comes in because Latios or Latios are the perfect the, the perfect uh, teammate uh, so you basically build them towards something you want to beat or something you want to support basically um, for example if, if you want if you don't want to lose to an uh, SD Gliscor, then taking Ice Beam on it is probably the way. If your team is super weak against a Belly Drum Azumarill, then maybe Thunderbolt is the way. If you need an extra check for a Heatran, then Earthquake might be the way. But it all depends on the teammates uh, you pair Latios up with. Uh, so I hope, to, I hope that's clear for you guys. Um, and I hope to have given you guys a general idea of what the Lottie Twins will bring to this new metagame. Oh, by the way, um, not a big one, uh, a bit similar to Garchomp is Terrakian, because Sword says Terrakian has also a really nice speeder and can also set up on those scores. Think about setting up on Heatran, and with that Swords Dance, a lot of those standard scores get can easily get broken. Uh, I believe even Clefable dies to a plus two Stone Edge with Life Orb. Uh, but since Latios and Latios are faster than Terrakian, uh, they can use Psychic or Psyshock and basically knock it out with the Life Orb. 
Um, yeah, like I said, let's just go over a few months to keep Latios and Latios in check. Okay, so uh, the Pokemon that actually keep Latios or Latios in check or just hard counters them. Um, first off, let's go over Weavile. Um, this is probably uh, the Pokemon that has the highest usage since Genova uh, has been released. And for for good reasons, because it's a really strong mod. And this mod will keep Latios and Latios always in check. Um, because it has it's faster, first of all, than Latios and Latios. And both Weavile's stab moves are super effective. But Weavile also has access to Pursuit. So if the Latios or Latios does decide to switch out and you go for Pursuit, uh, they'll, they'll most likely uh, die. But other than that, uh, most of the times Weavile is just free to click knockoff, and even if the Latios or Latios decides to switch, uh, something will lose its item. Um, Tyranitar is really similar to Weavile, but the difference is that Tyranitar can actually switch in to Latios or Latios. Let me actually get the call here. So, let's take Latio uh, Latios, because he does more damage. For example, and let's... To think Assault Vest Tyranitar is probably the best counter uh, to this. Because look at this Draco Meteor only does about 24-25% basically to an Assault Vest Tyranitar. While Pursuit without switching does close to 50%. But with the Sandstorm it's oh it's at least 50. And if the Latios or Latios doesn't decide to switch and you click crunch also has a really high chance to crit uh, to kill uh so i think salt fest tyranitar is probably the best counter but even if you go for an offensive tyranitar let's say jolly joy scarf i actually don't need this uh joy scarf max attack and max speed then Draco Meteor still does about 60. So you can still switch into Renatar and then knock it out with Crunch uh, when they don't expect it, for example. Uh, or go for the Pursuit if the Latios or Latios is already at half HP. Um, yeah. So typically, the Renatar is able to switch in to Latios. So, uh, that's what I mainly use to counter choice packs, because in Black and Pokemon Black and White, uh, Gen, Gen 5 back in the day, a lot of specs Latioses were using, people just dropping Dracos every day, so I was always using a specially defensive Tyranitar uh, with leftovers though, and switch it in on Latios, and if they clicked uh, Draco Meteor, I just spent Pursuit, because their special attack was halved. And my pursuit always did have if they didn't switch, and if they did switch, they would basically die. Um, yeah, but, but still, till this day, I think the Renatar is still one of the best uh, counters to the Renatar. And by adding Latios and Latios, you will definitely see more Tyranitars, which could be nice as well, because it's usually the choice between Weavile or Tyranitar, because they kind of fulfill uh, the same role. So maybe you'll see a bit of less, a bit less Weavals and a bit more Tyranitars. Who knows? We'll have to see what what the, uh, what the direction the meta will go towards. Um. Next up, Clefable. Uh, Clefable is obviously one of the best counters as well. Uh, here you have the standard Lario set against like. A standard magic art clefable psy shock with leftovers on clefable that's I guess less than 40 percent after leftovers recovery so it can easily come in doesn't take anything from draco moonblast does more than 60 percent they can always come in get up with rocks go for t wave go for toxic go for knockoff go for annoying stuff set up stealth rocks go for soft boil and there's not much latios can do to it because uh, Clefable can pretty easily switch in repeatedly. And I think even 
I, I also did discuss the Dragon Dance set, but uh, let me see how much Zen Headbutt does. Zen Headbutt. Ma th this is like this is jolly damage. And let's take the life warp in consideration. Does a maximum of 35%, and if it's adamant, it does less than Psy Shock. So even with plus one, Clefable still lives it. And this is adamant, by the way. You'll probably see Jolly. Uh, there's still. It's still not a guaranteed uh, to hit KO, so even then Clefable still walls this. Uh, so, again, Clefable is, already has a really high usage, so uh, the, the, that does mean that Latios and Latios won't get out of control, because a lot of people will still be using Clefable, no matter what. Okay, next up we have Bisharp. Uh, well, since a lot of Latios or Latios will most likely use Defog. Um, Bisharp can become really good because it's a Steel type and it's a Dark type. So it's immune to Psy Shock. It resists the Dragon type attack in Dragon Pulse or Dra uh, Draco Meteor. And imagine if you actually set up a lot of spikes uh, with your Ferrothorn and have Stealth Rock up as well. At one point, your opponent probably wants to Defog. And if Latios or Latios is their Defogger, you can bring in Bisharp. If they do go for Defog, your Bisharp certainly gets a free sword stance if they don't go for defog and actually maybe kill you uh, you can bring in something that can kill the latios or latios while keeping your assets up or if they decide to make a double first they take the stealth rock damage and you keep hazards so in that sense bisharp uh can become a really big threat to the ladies and you still always have the option to Sucker Punch, even if you're low. And... Uh, either go for Sucker Punch or Knock Off uh, in those mind games. Okay, earlier we... Um, we discussed Heatran as... Uh, Latios and Latios being able to check Heatran, but if Latios and Latios don't run Earthquake or Surf, uh, which is the... It's probably the case in most situations then Heatran can actually hard wall um, Latios and Latios be because he's a steel type so both resisting Psy psychic and dragon type attacks and even Thunderbolt is easily tanked by Heatran and if Heatran has toxic I can just wear down uh, the Latios or the Latios uh, if he has the combination of Magma Storm and toxic then he can trap the Latios or Latios and wear it down with Toxic. Can I get up rocks as well. Well, uh, La Latios and Latios are not really able to defog because um, they risk the chance of getting uh, poisoned by Toxic. So, Eatern in that sense is a really hard counter if they don't run the moves. Um, yeah, so much to say about it because I think it's, this also speaks for itself. Um, if you check, uh, if you check typings and, and all, and the move pulls, yeah, Heatran really good counter as well. Another uh, another uh, steel type that has a lot of free reign against the Lottie Twins is Ferrothorn. The only way uh, Latios and Latios can actually do something against Ferrothorn is if they have Hidden Power Fire, um, but. Having Hidden Power Fire on Latios or Latios means that you have to run 30 IVs into speed, meaning you're, you'll are you be slower than other Pokemon with 350 speed, uh, like Gengar, uh, like other Latios or Latios. And losing those speed dice means dying to either Shadow Ball or a Draco Meteor. So that's really a risk you're taking. and. Uh, Hidden Power Fire doesn't even do that much to Ferroton and Ferroton, especially defensive. Because uh, Ferroton can keep itself alive with Leech and Protect and Leftovers. So I don't think you even accomplish much by carrying Hidden Power Fire. Uh, but it's definitely an option and it has been run in the past. Uh, but yeah, other than that, Ferroton uh, takes pretty much every hit easily. 
keeps itself alive, uh, like we said with Lichin and Protect. And it can basically stack up spikes, get up stealth rocks. I'd be annoying with Gyro Ball, which does a lot of damage because the speed difference is really high. I can use a knockoff as well to be annoying. And yeah, overall, um, Latios or Latias don't really do much against Ferratone because they also don't have access to something like Focus Blast. Uh, there's literally not much they can hit Ferratone with. Another decent check to the Latias um, is another Grass type uh, being Tangrowth with the Assault Fest. Uh, because Tangrowth has access to knockoff uh, with its really high base defense, it doesn't really take much from Psyshock. With the Assault Fest, it can easily take a Draco Meteor, easily take an Ice Beam, and basically go for knockoff to reduce the damage. And you also have access to Hidden Power Rise, obviously, to wear it down. But it's basically there to. Uh, weaken or be annoying to the Lotties. Uh, Tengro by no means does hard counter in the Lotties, but it can be annoying to them and basically helping your team beating it. Uh, yeah, it's basically it about Tengro. Uh, another one is Chansey with Eevee Light. With Eevee Light, you easily take on a Psy Shock. Let me give you guys the cock for this. Um, so we take the standard Ladio set and put it against the Chansey. Uh, look at the Psy Shock does a maximum amount of them, a maximum of 37.8%, uh, which Chansey can easily take. So Chansey can come in multiple times. Draco Meteor obviously doesn't do that much, and Chansey can go for Toxic, can go for Stealth Rock, and there's not much uh, Ladios or Ladios can actually do to Chansey. Uh, even if you have Toxic or Thunder Wave yourself, it has um, it has Natural Cure, so it doesn't really matter in that sense. And together with Toxic and Seismic Toad, a Seismic Toad, a Toad, Chansey will eventually beat down Latios or Latios 1v1. So it's really one of the hardest counters uh, for, La for the Latios. Another big one, guys, is Scizor. Because Scizor is also a steel type. Um, Scizor does have to keep the hidden power fire in mind though, because that um, that will actually do a lot. <laughs> um, but other than that, if there's no hidden power fire, then Scizor is a really good check and counter. Uh, Choice Bandit Scizor can Pursuit Trap out of Ladi, Jills or Ladios. A defensive Scizor can U turn on it. Uh, Swords Dance Scissor can Sword Dance and Roost on um, the Latios, basically setting up. So Scissor is actually able to do a lot and Latios or Latios cannot really do much in return. Because both Thunderbolt and Surf uh, don't... Let me actually cock this. So let's say a Sword Dance Scissor. This one is Impish with Special... Okay. Um... Look at this, the Choice Band Scissor. This is like one of the standard Choice Band Scissor sets against the Latios. Sir, for example. With the Life Orb. Okay, and that actually does quite some damage. So this could be like a 2 hit KO to run this. Um, but Bullet Punch does this. Let's say without a, without a Choice Band. Bullet Punch still has a chance to knock it out, and obviously U-Turn will always kill. I think even without attack investments, it's gonna do a lot, yeah. So you'll get the slower U-Turn off, and do a lot of damage, and then get in something with Pursuit or uh, like Weavile to kill the Ladi. Um, but yeah, there's not much that la the Ladis actually do, uh, and Thunderbolt and Surf are not really common either on them so most of the time you don't really have to fear it and even if they do have it it's still not uh, an instant KO so yeah I think scissor is a really good answer and sp especially if you run a defensive scissor um, let me see I think th this is probably 
the most common one is Inkpish Shed. Because with this set, you'll never get to it. Okay, I'll buy a Life Orb. Um, buy a Life Orb Latios. Or Latios. Even with Stealth Rock. You can come in, you can Roost, you can U turn. And that U turn can give you so much momentum. Because most of the times they are forced to switch. So you always get the momentum. And even if they stay in because you are slower, you still gain the momentum. So yeah, Scizor, still one of the best answers to uh, the Lottie Twins. Okay, the next three mods actually have really similar roles. And they're pretty similar Pokemon as well, being Mew, Celebi, and Jirachi. They all have the same base stats. And if they you know, run the specially defensive set, the sets are pretty similar with Stealth Rock, a uh, healing move, and maybe U turn or Volt Switch. Maybe a status move like T Wave or Will O Wisp or Leech Sheet. Uh, but they are really similar and all of, three of them can actually uh, deal with the Lottie Twins because uh, they don't take too much from Draco Meteor. Let's take Celebi for example. Uh, I believe this is like the standard Celebi set with the EV spread and if you have Latios with Draco Meteor. And let's take Ice Beam for example as well. Uh, Draco Meteor. Take Leftovers as well. Draco Meteor. Um, the next one gets half, so it obviously doesn't kill. So the next one does about, what, what is it, 30%? A bit less. So Celebi can come in, take the Draco and just recover. Uh, Jirachi obviously resisting the, the Draco Meteor because it's a Steel type. But Mew, same story as Celebi, can come in, can roost. And Celebi has access to U-turn as well. So it can use U-turn. can obviously use Thunder Wave as well. Uh, to really cripple... Um, to really cripple the Lari. Uh, Jirachi can do it as well. But they can just come in multiple times. Um, once we actually get Megas or Z moves, then we can actually get some knockoff absorbers. And then I think Celebi, Jirachi, and Mew will be used more. But at the moment, it's really difficult to use them because Weavile is such a big thing right now. Uh, and yeah, them being weak to knockoff and pursuit is just a big thing. But if we get Megas, we can actually. Again, knockoff absorbers. Because right now the only good knockoff absorber is Gliscor, because he doesn't care about losing his Toxic Orb once it has been activated. However, it's not really a good check knockoff absor knock absorber against uh, Weavile, because Weavile is an ice type as well. Uh, but yeah, these Pokemon, uh, they I, I do see some use in them uh, by some people. Uh, especially Jirachi, he used quite some in quite some games. Um, but yeah, they are definitely some nice checks. And even Scarf Jirachi as well, which I will talk about later as well. It's about choice Scarves uh, can kind of check and counter at the Lottie Twins. And okay, that's basically it about them. Um, another mod is Tornadus and uh, Tornadus Therian form. I'm, I'm actually not sure. If let's see the pivot set, kind of want to know if the pivot set takes a Draco. So the pivot set could actually take a Draco, but uh, you'll mainly use the assault vest set because they can come in, go for knockoff, go for U turn, which is both super effective against the Lotties. And um, obviously, Tornadus is also faster, so it can. You can get the hurricane off and go for a confusion um, without dying because at uh, the moment they are in range of something they can just u-turn out but in that sense it's a bit similar to tank growth actually uh, you can pivot it in go for knockoff be annoying uh, they go for u-turn for extra chip and momentum uh, but yeah those are mainly the ones that are used a lot of times uh, in this meta game and I can actually check 
encounter uh, the Lottie Twins. There are ob obviously many more Pokemon who can do this. Um, this, is why, this is why uh, the Lotties won't be overpowered or anything. But some other good options are Choice Scarf users. Uh, because uh, for, we did talk about Landorus earlier as well. Uh, but Landorus with the Choice Scarf does a lot of damage with U turn. Uh, let's take this for example U turn. Does around 70%, which is a lot of damage, and then you can bring in something that can take a hit from Adelatios. A uh, choice scarf to Renatar, which we talked about earlier. I think Frucadal as well. Knockoff kills this. Um, choice scarf guard chomp, you can check it. Basically, everything that's faster with a choice scarf and that has a super effective move. Could check it and there are a lot of the those so uh, uh, i don't think latios or latios will be overpowered they will definitely be used in a lot of teams um but yeah because we have tyranitar and weave uh, um i don't think uh you have to worry about it too much and what well, it also adds extra mind games uh you need, you need extra form of skills as well because um so Sometimes you gotta predict the double into Weavile and switch to something else. And sometimes you gotta predict the switch into Latios or Latias and double into your own Weavile or Tyranitar. So there are a lot of mind games in there. And obviously, uh, the Rotom case as well. Rotom, good take. A Draco Meteor if, he, if he's at full HP and Volt switch into something like Weavile freely so there are just a lot of ways to play around it um but i do think it's really healthy for this meta game and i really hope the developers will add the lotty twins into savvy islands um I, if they weren't planning on it then i hope we can convince them with this video so make sure to share this video uh, to as many people as you can hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions or any more suggestions on this topic leave them down in the comments obviously i cannot cover everything because uh, there are just way too many uh, checks and counters to ladios and ladios and way too many things um, to name that Latios and Latios do check themselves or counter them themselves. Um, but I hope you to have you given you guys uh, an idea of what Latios and Latios can bring to the current meta game. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.